Hello everyone. Today we will learn about a poem called A House, A Home by Lorraine M. Harley. Through this presentation, we will learn about the poet. We'll understand the poem, how the poet has drawn a beautiful difference between a house and a home. We'll figure out the rhyming words along with the rhyming scheme. And at the end, we will attempt some question and answers to test our knowledge. About the poet children, Lorraine M. Harley's full name was Lorraine Martha Harley. She was born on April 27, 1921. She died on September 7, 2006 at the age of 85. She lived in Lakeville, Dakota County, Minnesota. Her writing style, children, is very simple, yet it makes the reader ponder over the basic words like a house, a home. In this poem, children, she aims to make a clear distinction between a house and a home. In this poem, she says, what is a house? A house is made up of materials such as bricks, stones. What does it consist? It has lots of doors, tiled floors. It has eaves. It also has chimneys. It has a yard. What is a yard, children? A yard is a space either in front or at the back, which we call backyard, of your house. In this picture, there's a yard all around. Now, after throwing light on what is a house made up of, the poet is now talking about what makes a house a home. As you can see in this picture, we have a house in between, in the center of the screen, and then we have people. We have a grandfather, we have a mother, father, brothers and sisters. All these people make a house a home. Their feelings for each other, their unselfish acts, their love and affection, which makes the concrete house a home. Hope you've understood the difference between a house and a home. Now let's touch upon some difficult words like eaves and stucco which is mentioned in the poem. What are eaves children? Eaves, as you can see in this picture, they make the house look decorative. It also keeps the roof safe from water accumulation and leakage. What's a stucco? Stucco is a plaster used for decorating the walls and ceilings. Now let's learn about the rhyming words and the rhyme scheme. Rhyming words are highlighted in red color as you can see. In the first stanza, rhyming words are hard, yard, floors, doors. Second stanza, rhyming words, others, sisters, mothers, sharing and caring. What's a rhyme scheme of the first stanza? It is A, B, C, D, C, E, F, G, F. Second stanza, A, B, C, 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 D, E, F, G. It's time for some quick testing of how much have we understood. So, tell me, this poem has been composed by, can you name the poet? Very good, Lorraine M. Harley. Second question for you, which two things are compared in this poem? Absolutely right, not a very difficult question. House is compared to a home. What makes a house a home? Well, a home 
is made up of feelings. A house is made up of materials. Home is made of people living. Father, the mother, the sister, your brother, your grandparents, everyone together make a house a home. Last question, children. It's the open-ended question. What did you learn from this poem? What did you learn in this poem? Well, it, your answers could differ uh, according to your interpretation of the poem. What did we learn? We learned the difference between a house and a home. All this while, these words, we knew the meaning of what's a house, what's a home. But the way the poet has drawn the comparison between the two is beautiful. And it has made a clear distinction now. Now you can use the word house and home correctly in your sentence. So I hope you've understood the poem, children. Remember, English is interesting and keep learning.